Hi, Shirley from Shifio Patterns here today and we're going to make this little baby's pull-on hat in nothing to three months size. It is a made in double knitting and a, with 375 millimeter needles and it's actually from pattern number 602. Um, I will put a link in down below if you want to purchase the whole pattern. Um, what you will need is a sewing needle, a pair of scissors, 3.75 needles. I use the short ones because I uh, can't use the long ones when I'm using the camera. They bang off everywhere. Um, and um, 25 um, grams of um, double knitting. I'm just, I'm just checking the pattern to make sure that's what I need. 25 grams of double knitting. I'm just about to use the wrong needles there. Right, okay. So... We start, I'll remove these things out of the way now. We start off with 62 stitches. I'll show you that again because it's such an easy way to start your knitting. So you put your finger towards you, twist it, put the needle through there. Again, twist it, needle through there. And you just take the back one over the front one and it, and it creates a slip knot. Really easy, not complicated. You can start any type of cast on like that. How I cast on is needle through that stitch as if you're going to knit it. This is the second stitch. Pull it up, put it on your needle. From then on, this is called a ca um, cable cast on and you put the needle between the two stitches, yarn over, Pull it through on the needle. Simple as that. Okay, so we need 62 stitches. And I will see you at the other end. Okay, that's the 62 stitches casted on. Now, what I need to do next is seven rows of garter stitch, which is knit every row. So that's just knitting every stitch. Okay, I'm going to see you at the end of seven rows. Okay, so that's our seven rows finished. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four ridges on that side and three on the other. One, two, three. So that's our seven rows garter stitch. So row eight is a knit row. Last, oh, last few stitches of row eight. There we go. And we're going to start row nine, which is a purl row. Knit the first stitch, that's a habit. Caught that wrong. <laughs> okay. I will see you at the other end of the pearl row. Okay, almost at the end of this row nine. So that's row eight and row nine. And that's the start of the stocking stitch. So row eight is knit and row nine is a pearl. So you need to repeat those two rows eight more times. So that is 16 more rows and with this two that is 18 rows stocking stitch all together and I will see you 
when I've completed that. Okay, that is me completed the 18 rows of garter stitch. Um, so now we're going to start the decreasing of the top of the hat, the hat shaping. And um, we're going to start off with um, row one. So we're going to knit five, two, three, four, five, knit two. Repeat that all along the row to the last six stitches. So it's knit five. One, two, three, four, five, knit two. See you at the other end. Okay, that's me at the last six stitches and we just knit those. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now then, the next row is just a purl row. This is row two of the hat shaping. I normally knit my first stitch and then you just purl to the end. Okay, see you at the other end. Last few stitches of row two on the heart shaping. That's the purl row. Okay. Row three, heart shaping is just a knit row. Okay, see you at the end of the knit row. Okay, this is me just at the end of row three of the heart shaping, which is for knit row. And then we go on to row four, which again is just a purl row. Knit the first stitch, a purl row. Okay, see at the end of the purl row. Okay, last few stitches of the purl row, which is row four. Right, now, row five is the repeat of knit four. One, two, three, four, knit two together. So you repeat that. One, two, three, four, knit two together. Okay, see you at the end of the row. Okay, this is the last row. Two, three, four, I mean the last stitches. Four, oops. Knit two together. So that is 45 stitches you now have on your needle after doing that decreasing row. So the next row, which is row six, which is a, a straight purl row. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so, a purl row. Okay, see you at the end of the row. Last few stitches of row six. There we go. Row six. Row seven is a knit row. Okay. See you at the end of the row. Okay, last few stitches of row row number seven it was. Now we're on to row eight, which is a purl row. Okay, 
Okay, see you at the end of the purl row. Okay, last few stitches off row eight. I slipped that one, don't know why I did that. Okay. Now, row nine is a decreasing row. And the decreasing row is this. Knit three, one, two, three, knit two together, repeat that to the end. So it's knit three, one, two, three, knit two together. One, two, three, knit two together. Okay, you see you at the end of the row. Okay, almost at the end of the row. One, two, three, knit last two stitches Oops, together. So that leaves us with 36 stitches. So we've got one purl row now before we get another decreasing row. So it's a purl row. So I knit the first stitch, hop it, and then purl. Okay. See you at the end of the row. Okay, last few stitches of row 10. And row 11 is a decreasing row. And it is. Knit two. One. Two. Knit two together. One, two, knit two together. That's what you repeat to the end of the row. One, two, knit two together. Okay, near there. One, two. Oh, <laughs> knit two together. There we go. And that leaves you with 27 stitches. And we're going to do a purl row. Oops, missed that one. Nearly there. to repeat knit two together just the knit two together all along the row just the knit twos come on knit two there we go <laughs> to be purl two together all along that last row there was 14 stitches this row we're not into we're purling two together I apologize we're purling two together all along we're going to end up with seven stitches purl two together and the last one Oh. last pearl two together okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull some yarn enough to be able to sew the hat up cut it off and we're going to pull the yarn through all the stitches one at a time so you put the needle round knit it and then just pull the yarn through every single stitch. 
knit the stitch, yarn, pull the yarn all the way through. There we go. For all seven stitches. two stitches here uh, there we go now then let's see what we've got oh tangled okay so cute oh looks that looks good now there we go now what we've got to do is turn it inside out, use this thread, this yarn that we've got here and we're going to, let's put my needle, put it on my needle, my other large needle I've got here and I'm going to put it through the other side and pull it tight so you don't have a hole at the top. And then put the, just do a couple of stitches there just to keep that tight. There we go. Okay, and then you just sew right down to the bottom and then sew that thread in. And I'll see you when it's complete. Okay, there it is complete and I just turn it in the right way. Lovely little pull on heart from nothing to three months old. Really cute. Cool, well, I hope you've enjoyed our video and um, if you have, you could like it, share it, subscribe. All the links are down the bottom there. And um, if you don't want to, that's fine. Glad you I hope you enjoyed it and um, happy knitting till next time.